how do you dilute car detailing products and chemicals and what are dilution ratios? So I'm going to be answering those questions in this video and you're going to become a dilution ratio expert after watching this. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I've been detailing cars for over 25 years now and I also have a background of studying in university in biochemistry and molecular biology. So I like to explain things for you guys, my viewers, in a simple and easy way so you can all understand and get better at the car detailing craft. So we're going to talk about dilution ratios today. First of all, what are they? So you often see numbers like 1 to 3, a 1 to 5 dilution, 1 to 10, or 1 to 20. So what a ratio is basically is a concentration that you're trying to achieve by dissolving a solute, so your car detailing product, with a solvent which is usually always water. Water is known as the universal solvent because it dissolves more products or liquids or substances compared to any other product or liquid in the world. So when you're seeing those ratios, the smallest number, which is always one on average, is always the amount of solute that you're going to be using in the mix. So your concentrated product, right? And the bigger number is always the solvent, in this case, water. So the uh, solute itself or the concentrated product, why do we do dilutions? First of all, not all car detailing products can be diluted. So typically in your big box stores, your local hardware stores or auto parts stores, those are products available to the general public. So typically they are RTU or ready to use and are not dilutable. So you use them straight out of the spray bottle and they're good to go. So you're going to see more professional oriented products from professional brands out there that can be diluted and usually they're available for professional detailers because why they can save on costs by buying concentrated products and diluting in themselves because a lot of the cost of a product goes into shipping and in shipping well the weight counts a lot and when you're shipping a product well if you have a lot of water in there that counts for a lot of the weight so if you're shipping a concentrated product for example in one bottle like this and you dilute it you can generate many many gallons of that product for a much lower overall cost now, a lot of those professional brand products out there can also be bought by the public. Just note that if it states on the label that there's some dilution ratios that you can do, where today we're explaining how you do that. So, of course, by diluting the products, you're saving a lot of money. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned all the way till the end because I'm going to give you a detailing hack that's going to make diluting products so easy, you're going to impress everybody. So, first of all, you're going to pull out your phone. We're going to have a calculator, so I'm going to show you how to do this with the more scientific approach, but all while keeping it simple. So we're going to do something first like a 1 to 3 dilution ratio, which means one part of product for three equal parts of water. And so you guys can visualize that. It's always important. Some people are more visual like I am. So when you're doing a 1 to 3 ratio, you have one part of your product or the solute and you have three equal parts of the solvent which is the water. So this is a one to three dilution ratio. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to measure the amount of product we need and we're going to add the water as well in a spray bottle. So for a spray bottle, by the way, I'm going to use a 32 ounce spray bottle. This is a common one that you can use. There's also 16 ounces, which regardless of uh, which spray bottles you're using, the importance is to remember that we're talking dilution ratios. Those means parts, right? Or units. So one unit of product for three units of water or one part of product for three equal parts of water if you're looking at a one to three dilution ratio. We're going to have a funnel. You're always going to add the water first. So how do you know which quantity to measure in each? This is where the calculator comes in. So for a one to three ratio, and we have a 32 ounce spray bottle, right? So you're going to have 32 ounces. That's your total volume. And then you're going to add up the two parts of the ratio. So for a one to three ratio, those are four total parts, right? One plus three equals four. So 32 divided by the four total parts means, means that every part in your ratio is eight ounces in volume. If you prefer in mils, uh, that's 240 milliliters per part. So in your spray bottle. So what we're going to do now, when we know that one part is eight ounces, we know that we have three equal parts of water, right? So eight ounces, eight ounces, and eight ounces that I pre-measured. And we're going to measure eight ounces of the product as well. So you have eight ounces here, 
and plus 24 ounces of water, that gives you a total of 32 ounces. So we're gonna measure that up now. Of course, the water that I use is always distilled water. I always uh, highly recommend that you guys use the best quality water possible. This one has no minerals inside it and you're gonna have a better shelf life with your product, but also better product performance because the product itself doesn't have to fight the minerals if you have hard water issues where you live. So just get these uh, in your local hardware store or at your grocery or drugstore or whichever, get distilled water. It's always the best to use for dilutions. So we know we have to measure eight ounces of the product, right? So for example, here today, we're uh, using Extra Tough. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, nobody paid for this video, but this is a uh, multi-purpose cleaner degreaser. So professional grade that you guys can dilute. So there are many ratios available. So let's put that up to eight ounces. So you use a measuring cup to measure that up. It doesn't have to be a laser precision, by the way, so don't overthink the moment. These are just general guidelines. So as long as you get it near, that's fine. So eight ounces and we're gonna have that. So you can see these are all equal parts, right? So now I think you can visualize thanks to the color. So you have three parts of water for one part of product, and this is a one to three dilution ratio. So eight ounces of the cleaner degreaser, and then you have 24 total ounces of water in your 32 ounce spray bottle, and that will make your one to three ratio. So you start by adding the water first when you're doing your dilutions. So always the solvent first. Put that in there that way by putting the water first and then the product at the end you're not creating as much bubbles or suds so it won't overflow at least that's the uh, the concept in theory so now we filled our bottle there's 24 ounces of water in there and now we're going to add the product so here we go so this is the solute and that's going to give us our one to three ratio so you put all of it in there, there you go. And then you're gonna shake your product up and you are good to go and you have a one to three dilution ratio in your spray bottle. Always shake your chemicals, of course, even before use. That's typically a good thing to do. And there you go, you have your mix. That's how simple it was. Now, to give you another example, let's pick another dilution ratio. So let's do something uh, like a seven to one, right? Or a one to seven. Sometimes you see the numbers reverse depending on how the companies put it, but it doesn't matter because you always know that the smallest number, one, is always the product and the biggest number, seven in this case, is always water. So. If we uh, take the same thing, so we have a 32 ounce spray bottle, right? So we know we have a one to seven ratio. So that's one parts of product for seven equal parts of water. So if you add seven plus one, that's eight total parts, right? So in your 32 ounce spray bottle, if you divide that by eight total parts, that means that each part is four ounces. So you're gonna measure four ounces of your product and then for the water, if you do, we need seven equal parts of water, right? So seven times four, that's 28 ounces. So 28 ounces of water plus four ounces of your product, that's 32 ounces in total. So you have your one to seven dilution ratio. And if you want that converted into milliliters, that basically would be 120 mils of the product and 830 milliliters of water for a total solution of 950 milliliters inside your spray bottle. Before I share my awesome dilution ratio hack that's gonna make things even easier for you guys, let me just do a quick recap. So regardless of which format of spray bottle you're using, you're concentrating on how many parts you want in the dilution ratio. So again, for example, if you have a 32 ounce spray bottle and you want a one to three dilution ratio or one parts of products for three equal parts of water, you would take your 32 ounces, so that's your total volume in your spray bottle, and you would add up the two uh, dilution ratio parts that you want. So in this case, if you're a one to three dilution ratio, you add up one plus three, that equals four. So 32 divided by four equal parts, that means that each part is going to be eight ounces total. So you know that you're gonna be using eight ounces of your product. And if for the three parts now, three times eight, that's 24. So 24 uh, ounces of water. 
So 24 ounces of water plus the eight ounces you measured of your product, that's a 32 total ounces of solution. Now, if you were to have, say, a 16 ounce bottle, well, that would be half the quantities, right? So if we redo the same math for that, so you have 16 ounces total volume, you want a one to three ratio. So you add one plus three, that equals four. So 16 divided by four, that gives you four ounces per part. So you would have four ounces of your product. And then for the three other parts, four multiplied by three, 12 ounces of water. So if you add 12 plus your 12 ounces of water, plus your four ounces of product, that gives you 16 ounces. And there you go, you have a one to three dilution ratio. So say you don't want to bust out a calculator and you, it's too complicated depending on the volume, you're rushed and you want to do something even quicker and remove all the guesswork out of it. Well, yes, there is a solution. You're going to buy uh, sprayer bottles that have dilution charts on them already. I'm going to leave, by the way, all the links to the tools and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out so you can have access to these. Uh, but here, let me give you a close up, hopefully, you can see on camera. So you get the volume in mils or in ounces on the side in many of them. And you also have your dilution ratios. So 10 to one, five to one, three to one, two to one, one to one, that kind of thing. So you would first add your water to the desired dilution. Uh, you would first add, yeah, your water to the dil diluted, to the dilution ratio level, and then fill the rest up to the fill ring. It's written fill ring here with your product, you mix it up and you have your dilution. So this is a 32 ounce spray bottle. And on the 16 ounce, this is the CarPro Dilute, which was featured in my best um, trigger sprayers video. So this one, one very good one, because it's inexpensive. And uh, basically they tell you the instructions right on it. So number one, fill with water to the desired ratio and top with product to the 0.5 liter marker up top. And you have the fill product to here line. So if you look at the back, you have all your ratios already done for you. So for example, your one to three ratio we were talking about. So you would fill with water up to the one to three ratio and then take your product and fill the rest with the product up to the fill line, shake it up and you're good to go. So regardless of what ratio, see you here, see here, one to 30, 120, one to 15, one to 10, one to five, one to three, one to two, one to one, regardless what you pick, it is super simple. So for example, one to six ratio, you would fill your product with distilled water up to this line here, one to six, and then continue with the product from here all the way up to the fill line, shake the bottle up and there you go. This is why they call it CarPro Dilute. It's ready to use because it is so simple. So you have the dilution charts already on the bottles themselves. How simple is that? It doesn't get any easier than that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button that helps support the channel and also helps the YouTube algorithm. Share this video with friends and family or anybody who enjoys detailing. This is going to take the guesswork out of diluting uh, products. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel. By the way, take a second and click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Uh, by the way, any other video you guys want me to do, what kind of tips and tricks do you want to see? Let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. I always read your comments and enjoy doing so. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight. Keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one.